So on this one peaceful day I woke up, took a shower, brushed my teeth, and then my phone rang. Yo, I just got this RTX 3090, do you want it for 1700 euros? And I said, not nah, like, do you even know who I am? But the next day I got another phone call from him. just tested that RTX 3090 and you know something isn't right with it come and pick it up from me test it for yourself and if you want to buy it anyways you can have it for 1100 euros and I said don't move I'll be there in 2.5 seconds so here this an ASUS ROG Strix RTX 3090 Which to be honest isn't completely mine because I was allowed to take it home and test it before paying But if it turns out to be a fully working card, I might make some serious money Let's just jump straight to benchmarking. I can't wait and the first game tested today was Forza Horizon 4 what? Like, seriously. What the hell happened here? Okay, so in comparison, here are the benchmark results side by side with a 1080 Ti and a slightly weaker processor. I bet that RTX 3090 is experiencing 5 a.m. after a party. <laughs> I would have also tested Call of Duty Warzone, but my dog not only took my lawnmower. <laughs> But also took my MSI Afterburner overlay. He's going into computers now. Like seriously, it didn't want to work. Okay, time to give this GPU one last shine. Ch <laughs> to give this GPU one last chance of redemption on not Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's try Cyberpunk. And basically... Yeah, ultra settings were not kind on this handicapped monster. So I tried turning RTX on and the graphics look window shatteringly <laughs> terrible. Okay, one last idea. User benchmark test? Oh, it turns out I don't even have a GPU like mm. How did I not think about that before? That's what I'm saying! But seriously, no matter what I did on MSI Afterburner, like overclock it, underclock it, nothing helped. And when I switched from Q to P mode on the card, it even started blacking out from time to time under load. And yeah, RTX 30 series cards are seriously powerful, if they're working properly, but they are not as reliable as, for example, 10 series cards. Look it up on the internet. There are tons and tons of forum threads about all sorts of various issues and this specific card seems to have a power delivery issue overall it is insanely massive chunky thing and i'm really sad that it is actually defective because it really feels good holding it in hand that's what she said but as you might have already guessed no i'm not buying this thing for 1100 euros i'll return it back and remember that i once had an rtx 3090 at a time it was the world's most powerful gaming graphics card cheap bastard out